It begins with a tension so subtle that most men never notice it. A quiet gathering of signals deep inside the pelvis, a rising pressure building like a distant tide, and a moment when the body crosses an invisible line. One second, everything is still under conscious control. The next, an ancient biological program takes over, faster than thought, older than humanity itself. Ejaculation is often seen as something simple, a single burst, a single moment. But inside the male body, it is one of the most complex, synchronized and precisely timed events in human physiology. A storm of electricity races through the spinal cord. Muscles contract in a rapid, rhythmic pattern. Fluid reservoirs unlock their gates. And deep within the prostate, pressure rises like a chamber preparing to launch. It is a choreography of milliseconds, a biological orchestra where every player must respond perfectly or the entire sequence collapses. But how does it truly unfold? Why does the body reach a point where it can no longer stop? And what hidden structures determine the strength, timing and composition of what's released? This is the story of what happens inside male ejaculation, from the first nerve spark to the final muscular wave. A journey through the invisible machinery that transforms desire into a physical event. Let's go inside. To understand ejaculation, we must start where the process is controlled, the spinal ejaculation generator a tiny cluster of neurons located in the lower spine. It sits quietly in the background of everyday life, waiting for a specific combination of signals, arousal, stimulation and threshold. When these signals converge, they activate two distinct phases, emission and expulsion. Emission is the loading stage, expulsion is the release. But long before this moment begins, three major organs have been quietly preparing. Inside the testicles, sperm cells mature in tightly coiled seminiferous tubules. They leave as unfinished swimmers, fragile, incomplete, unable to move. Only after spending days in the epididymis do they gain motility and strength. The seminal vesicles, sitting behind the bladder, produce a thick, nutrient-rich fluid packed with fructose, the sugar fuel sperm will use on their long journey. The prostate, positioned below the bladder, creates enzymes and alkaline fluids. Its job is protection, neutralizing vaginal acidity and breaking down thick seminal gel after release. Each structure waits with its own contribution, like ingredients prepared ahead of time in separate chambers. But these fluids are not mixed yet. They are stored in isolation, separated by muscular valves and held behind tight sphincters. During arousal, the nervous system begins priming the system. The prostate swells slightly. The seminal vesicles expand with pressure. The bulbo-urethral glands release a clear lubricant to prepare the urethra for incoming fluid. Still, nothing is released. This is the loading phase before the storm. And once the spinal generator decides the threshold is crossed, the body transitions into a mode no longer controlled by conscious intention. But this is only the beginning. The first phase, emission, starts with a surge of sympathetic nerve activity. These nerves tighten the smooth muscles of the vas deferens, pushing sperm forward with powerful peristaltic waves. Like a conveyor belt suddenly switched on, they transport millions of sperm toward the urethral base. At the same moment, the seminal vesicles contract and inject their thick, yellowish fluid. This fluid carries nutrients, clotting proteins and the molecules that give semen its volume and texture. 
Then the prostate joins the sequence. It releases thin, milky secretions, rich in zinc, citrate and enzymes, especially PSA, the enzyme responsible for thinning semen after it gels. All these fluids begin pooling in the prostatic urethra. The area swells, pressure rises, and the internal urethral sphincter at the bladder snaps shut like a gate. This is crucial. Without this sphincter, semen could flow backward into the bladder. With it, the pathway becomes a one-direction tunnel, forward and only forward. Once enough pressure builds, the body reaches a point called ejaculatory inevitability, the no-turning-back moment. Even if all stimulation ends, the system must complete the sequence. Now expulsion begins. This is where the pelvic floor takes over. Specifically, the bulbospongiosus and ischiocavernosus muscles. These muscles generate rhythmic contractions about 0.8 seconds apart, each wave pushing fluid through the urethra with increasing force. The first few contractions deliver the highest velocity. They expel the most concentrated sperm fraction, the part richest in motile sperm. Later contractions deliver the prostate-dominant fraction and the thinner enzyme-rich layers. Inside the urethra, the flow is turbulent, accelerating sharply during each wave and slowing between pulses. Outside the body, this pulsed pattern becomes visible, but inside, it's a coordinated hydraulic system that depends on timing, nerve firing and muscle strength. Finally, after the last contraction, pressure collapses, muscles relax and the system begins shutting down but a transformation is still underway. At the peak of ejaculation, the male reproductive system experiences one of its most intense physiological moments. Within milliseconds, dopamine floods the brain's reward pathways. At the same time, a rapid spike of oxytocin reinforces bonding and comfort. These chemicals surge in harmony with the pelvic contractions, creating the sensation of release and satisfaction. But deeper inside, something equally dramatic occurs. Semen, initially thick and gel-like, begins a transformation triggered by prostate enzymes. This is no accident, it is a strategic biological design. When semen first exits the body, it coagulates almost instantly. This prevents it from leaking out and allows sperm to pool near the cervix, closer to their goal. But after 15 to 30 minutes, PSA enzymes begin dissolving the gel, turning the thick clot into a thinner, more fluid medium that frees sperm to swim. The transformation is timed perfectly. Too soon and the fluid would drain away, too late and sperm would lose mobility. Nature places the window exactly where it needs to be. Inside the vagina, sperm face their first major challenge, an acidic environment that kills most of them in minutes. Only the healthiest survive long enough to reach the cervical mucus filter. Meanwhile, back inside the male body, the prostate deflates, the seminal vesicles relax and the vas deferens returns to quiet. The spinal ejaculation generator switches off and a wave of inhibitory neurotransmitters spreads through the brain, creating the well-known refractory period, the temporary inability to repeat the process. This refractory reset is not a weakness. It is a protective mechanism, allowing the nervous system to recover and restoring balance after the physiological storm. Ejaculation is over, but its consequences have just begun. Inside male ejaculation lies a world of precision and coordination, a biological engine that activates only in rare moments, yet operates with astonishing detail. It is easy to think of this process as single, a single event, a moment of release. 
but beneath the surface, it is a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering. Sperm, produced through a 74-day journey, wait for a moment that lasts only seconds. The prostate, silent for most of the day, becomes the core of a hydraulic system that controls pressure, timing and texture. Nerves in the spine, cells thinner than human hair, synchronise dozens of muscles with the precision of a metronome. Even after the final contraction, the process continues. Semen transforms, hormones shift, the body resets, and millions of microscopic swimmers begin a perilous journey inside a new environment. Ejaculation is not just a physical event. It is a bridge between intention and biology, desire and physiology, individual experience and evolutionary purpose. It is the final step in a system that has been refined over millions of years to preserve the possibility of life. And whether we see it as science, instinct or miracle, its complexity tells a deeper truth. That the human body is always more intricate than what we feel on the surface. The next time this sequence unfolds, Perhaps it will be impossible not to wonder about the hidden machinery beneath, the nerves, the muscles, the organs, all moving in orchestration to create a moment that lasts only seconds, yet carries the weight of generations. In the end, ejaculation is more than release. It is biology at its most synchronized and life at its most precise.